In the spring of 1989, Nirvana decided to expand their band from a three-piece to a four-piece, and this is where they enlisted second guitarist Jason Everman. Kurt was wanting a second guitarist to fill out their sound and to play those extra guitar parts as the songs he was now writing on guitar were becoming more detailed. Nirvana released their debut album Bleach in June of 1989, and Everman would tour with the band that summer in support of Bleach. And speaking of Bleach, Jason Everman does feature on the front cover with the rest of the band, and is even credited in the liner notes of the album. However, the fact of the matter is he didn't actually play a single note on Bleach. But he did pay the 600 some odd dollars that it cost to record Bleach. And he did that in his own words with no strings attached. Everman was never paid back. Sure. So, so what happened to Jason? He's a, he's a bass player for Soundgarden. Yeah, but I mean... That's what happened. <laughs> he just... Uh, up they and offered left. the deal and he just left. Well, actually, they were having tryouts and and, and uh, he just he went ahead and did it. I don't know, maybe he, he had wasn't really He wasn't really in the band anymore. It just yeah, didn't I mean, work out. During the week that we kicked him out, he tried out for Soundgarden. It worked out. It was awesome. So we're very happy for him. And it's, we like the guy and stuff still, you know. I we mean, love him. He's a good friend of ours and all that. So Everman was only in Nirvana for a few short months, then joined Soundgarden not long after that, and he was only with them for a very short time too. But it was in 1994 that Everman joined the United States Army, and later on the Special Forces and served tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. He is also a Green Beret, so very accomplished. Here, Jason Everman talks a little bit about leaving the music scene and joining the military. Was I doing this? Was I a musician because I thought that other people thought it was cool that I was doing it, or was I doing it because I thought it was cool? And the conclusion I came to was, well, I'm definitely not doing it because I think it's cool because I don't really think it's that cool anymore. So decision was basically made. Uh, I was going to finish my touring obligations. And yeah, a couple months later, I'm at 30th AG Fort Benning, uh, Georgia, getting my head shaved. 